All right, folks, we are here for game week 216. So as we always do, let's start out with uh, the weekend before and have a look at the, the points. So nothing too surprising here. Uh, you know, Asia was um, didn't have a lot of matches in, in place, so uh, the payouts weren't uh, as high, but uh, therefore you needed less points to, to get into a card. But really, the others looked uh, about what you'd expect. Uh, U23 always seems to be just a tad lower than some of the rest. So sometimes there's opportunity there. We saw that again in limited card space. So um, still kind of under 300. We're seeing that quite often week to week. So if you are trying to uh, win a card each week uh, or a weekend, especially, uh, this could be a, an area to focus in uh, as you might uh, be able to get a card each time. You can uh, score, say, 300 points, 310. The rest of them, really, you tend to need sort of into the 320s and things like that. And especially if you want to get a nicer card, like a Tier 2, it's really 350, 360, 370 for all of these. So nothing too surprising from last weekend. Looking ahead to this weekend, um, <clears throat> same thing, nothing too dramatic here. Um, I would say that, so the special weekly is the Jubler League. Uh, what is kind of nice is that uh, your limited cards can apply to it. Um, but what I will say is, I mean, look how many people have entered. Almost 2,000. Still about seven or eight hours to go. Uh, so that'll continue to grow and this will shrink. It's really a low percentage payout right now. Um, I'd imagine if uh, if you if you have some cards already, then, then go for it. But <clears throat> I wouldn't necessarily hit a, a shopping spree right now and trying to build up a collection to compete in this one. I, I don't see a lot of opportunity compared to previous weeks where... Sure, 400 people going up against four or 500 people might be, uh, you know, worth a shot. Um, other than that, nothing too surprising here. Uh, maybe I just mentioned U23 uh, in the limited space. Again, you might be able to win a card with under 300 points. So that one is something I might target, I know. And uh, other than that, there's, there's not a lot of surprise in these ones. So let's look ahead to the, uh, the last couple of weeks I've been looking at um, actual players, uh, putting some players out there, really looking at um, kind of cheap uh, buys that you can find, uh, you know, under 0.02 in the limited space, under 0.1 Ethereum in the rare space, and uh, hopefully cards that have some utility beyond this game week, but um, kind of challenging myself. I found it a bit hard to find keepers and uh, forwards for sure. So uh, you'll see um, it's, it's a bit of a stretch on some of them, but definitely there are some defenders and mids to, to look at. So let's do that. Um, this is a bit of a very uh, rudimentary kind of score keeping from my previous two game weeks. So last game week, how did I do? So uh, Jair or Jair, I uh, didn't do as well. He'd really been playing so well uh, of late or pretty much all season. So this is one of his lowest scores in uh, recent memory. So that's a miss for sure. Um, Sake uh, did about, did reasonable, I suppose. Maybe that's a push. Um, Kerr, I was hoping he'd get some game times. It's a midweek uh, Champions League for PSG. Uh, really, it's so hard to find any kind of value on a big club like PSG. Uh, but he was priced under 0.100 for the rare. And uh, sure enough, he didn't play at all. So um, he does come off the bench. I, I knew I was taking a bit of a, a swing at that one. So it uh, just didn't quite work out. But from a longer term investment point of view, I, I don't see uh, an issue with that one. Uh, Philip Max, um, again, a bit of a push. He's been playing well lately. And uh, his price is really uh, uh, the lowest it's been in, in some time. So again, I think maybe a little bit of a... Uh, a nice future pick. And then Maxime Crepo. So that was a bit of a gamble for me. Really, uh, he's a keeper for the Whitecaps. And um, he's they're going up against a big match down in LA. Must win for both clubs. Uh, and he had only performed sort of in the 30s and, and low 40s for uh, for quite some time, even though the Whitecaps have been playing really well of late. Uh, sure enough, he put in a huge performance, tons of saves. And I watched some of that game. And uh, came up with the points for it. So I'm kind of proud of myself with that one. I pat myself on the back. So now let's get into the players that I see as value for this weekend. So um, I've got five and then kind of a bonus one for you, if you will. Um, so <clears throat> starting with uh, Pedro at Lazio, for, he's a forward. Um, you know, he's up there in age, so maybe not somebody that's going to be um, a ton of value if you hold on to him for a long time. But what I like is uh, definitely affordable uh, in, in roughly in those parameters that I've set for myself. I uh, didn't play so well uh, this uh, midweek, but uh, against Marseille, a, a pretty strong side. So uh, maybe to be expected, previous to that, he'd, he'd done really well. And uh, and I just felt that uh, maybe there's an opportunity when he does um, when he does well, he gets into the 70s. I mean, what you don't want is, uh, I don't want to recommend players that are just sort of 
you know, a, a good, a good match is 60 or something like that. You really want to get them at least seventies, eighties and so on. Uh, so based on the price and all of that, Lazio play, um, they're playing the second to last, t- uh, team sell it. Salernitana. That's how you say it. Right. So, um, clubs given up a lot of goals for, or goals against rather. And, uh, so it might be an opportunity for him to, uh, to get a goal or two. We'll see. So, Second one, um, also a veteran, but uh, probably a little more well-known, and that's Pepe for uh, Porto. So he's 38 years old. So, I mean, again, maybe not a long-term investment, although I have seen uh, scenarios where uh, players that have, I like I've already in Robin, and I, I've, he's uh, he's not playing, but uh, his card seems to kind of at least, well, it's it's risen in value, and, and now it's kind of stabilized. So sometimes when a player does retire, you actually uh, benefit because no more, no further cards are being are, going to be minted but what i love about pepe is i mean first off uh i'll try and hover it takes a second every time you hover but first what you see is like 90 minutes uh not so much share but at least through here i think he got injured here in the 54th so um but other than that 90 90 i mean he basically just plays 90 he's just a warrior and um and of course as you can see they're just all in the green uh 40s and 50s seem to be the baseline but you can expect some 70s and and 80s and things like that from them uh these are just fantastic and against big clubs as well so um he really steps up and uh completely affordable i think and, and reasonable uh from where he's at and porto are playing uh so top of the table and, uh, and they're playing bottom. So first versus worst, that's an easy one for me. Um, w- when you see that, just uh, go and grab the, uh, what should be a, a fairly easy victory. And um, yeah, Pepe should be a good one there. Uh, Jerome on, on Gwene, on Gwene, is that how you say it, you think? I don't know, we'll see. Um, reasonably priced here. Uh, what I like is a bit of a discount baked in. So right now, best offer, 0.018 and 0.084 and you look at what he's been going for in the last say seven days month and whatnot and so there's a real nice uh bit of value here and, and what we see is okay sure had an off week um or maybe an off game uh, this midweek but uh but a tough match against wolfsburg a strong side and um and then really has been fantastic in the last several weeks so um i really like this one uh defender He's, uh, he's only 23 years old. And the other thing I like, uh, speaking of which, of Wolfsburg here, I uh, found this article from uh, just about a week ago, I guess. And uh, Wolfsburg, look at, at him. So uh, apparently he's in their radar and at the end of the contract next summer, um, he's one of their targets. So if he got into the Bundesliga, we're going to see some increase in value for a guy like that. So um, yeah, really like this to maybe turn it around. They are playing, I think, a mid-table side. Let me find this one. Um, they're top of the table. They've got a strong lead, really just, um, uh, you know, beating up on opponents. They're undefeated in, uh, in the Austrian Bundesliga and they're playing uh, Austria Vienna. So, um, mid table, I suppose, and, and kind of just, uh, one of those, um, sort of typical mid table clubs, a lot of draws and whatnot, but, uh, Salzburg seemed to be the, uh, the top club there. So, um, should be a nice one for them. And, uh, and like I said, a lot of nice uh, long-term value. Uh, Kazuya Miyahara. So now you got to be careful here because J league, uh, they play this weekend and then they're, they're off for a couple weeks and then they've got about three matches left after that. So uh, kind of winding down to their season, but like dirt cheap here, like 0.001 and 0.019 uh, for a guy that uh, first off is 25 years old um, has put up some really nice scores of late and even beyond that, um, some a, a decent baseline. Obviously, he can be a bit all over. Uh, sometimes his minutes are uh, in question, but at least of late, he's been quite strong. And uh, and what I like, if we look at who they're playing, um, they're playing uh, Vigalta Sende. So uh, sure, they're battling to get out of the promotion spot, but uh, Nagoya is actually trying to get into the um, AFC Champions League as well. So uh, they're going to be going for it. And uh in theory i should should be able to come away with a win so uh, i quite like that one and again like just dirt cheap so uh to go for that even though it's the end of the season can be somebody maybe can hold on to and see um how he progresses in his career 
Uh, I wanted to make sure I included one for the special weekly. Like I said, I'm not quite recommending going out and, and shopping to get into that uh, game, that tournament. But um, if you are, if you're missing one piece, um, again, nice, nicely priced here. Uh, you can see that maybe uh, the offer, the best offer has gone up. Maybe people trying to take advantage of the fact that someone might be looking for a good uh, kind of plug-in player for this game week. Uh, but, you know, decent all around. I mean, really... If we look at uh, for the last several matches, a pretty good baseline. doesn't really get up into the high score so much, but uh, just steady, it, it appears to me. And uh, I believe they're playing uh, their mid-table, that's right. And they are playing uh, the team at the bottom, so beer shot. So um, should be an all, all right opportunity. Um, this club's yeah, conceded 27 goals, so um, I quite like that one. And uh, like I said, I, I'm not really reaching to get into that particular tournament. But if uh, you need a spot like this, uh, I, with that one, you actually only need two. So um, you may already have one player, maybe two cards, something like that. Um, so, you know, you could grab this and at least then uh, put uh, the rest of your lineup as players outside of the, uh, the two-player league. So, um, and finally, just I, I want to throw out... Augusta March Marchison. I'm not counting this one in terms of how whether he's going to play this weekend. I, I don't think he is. Um, they've got uh, Diego Costa as, as their sort of number one now. He's sort of fallen out of favor. He got injured uh, through the through the summer and whatnot. But I mean, I just he's he's never going to be this uh, cheap. He's a he's a world class goalkeeper. Um, he plays on his national team. He's backup and and um, he's uh, you know he was uh, yeah he was the backup basically during the euro for argentina but um i mean great scores and and i mean i'm just hoping and wondering i have one of his cards so i'm just hoping that he gets uh maybe dealt during the uh, the winter transfer window or something because if he can start to put this back up for another club uh this is going to shoot through the roof I and mean, if we look at price graph um i mean just just coming down from from a 0.366 all the way down to you know, one of the latest 0.110. I mean, that's, that's amazing. So, um, yeah, I, I just, if, if you, if you kind of want to speculate, uh, this is certainly one and maybe I'm just wishful thinking because I have one of his cards, but, uh, that's one for me. So not this game week, but, uh, just keep hanging on to him because, uh, you can have them for, like I said, quite cheap. There you have it. Uh, I hope that helps. We will talk again soon. Uh, best of luck to you all. Bye-bye.